All right, so <clears throat> hopefully you see me good. Well, <laughs> all right, so welcome again to um, MG Sports TV, Military Guna TV. Uh, so this is a preview for Watos versus Arkad High. I'm hopefully I'm not butchering that name because it is Asian, so it has some form of French in it. So I just assume that I'm just praying that it's I pronounce it properly. So it's Arka High. Um, could be Arka Hey. But most definitely, I'm going to say Arka High. Um, someone in the comment section who knows French and can give a proper pronunciation um, for it, um, just put it in the comment section. And definitely, I don't, I don't mind being corrected. I have no problem being corrected because that is how we grow. And I, as you know, anyone know, knows me, um, love, love the fact that I always um, think about growth and how can I get better. So put it in the comment section if you know the proper name. So I'm going to say it, but... I'm going to try my best not to say it so often. So I'm going to say Arca High and try my best not to say um so often. So, <clears throat> um, Watos versus Arca High. Arca High versus Watos. Another team from the Asian um, uh, Champion Net um, National League. A team that um, Watos has already faced. Um, we're going to get into that detail at this part at this part of the time. I would really, really wish our, you guys smash the like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. No, I'm also going to give you even the starting eleven that 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 played against um Arca High that got the three one. So in 2020, November the fifth, Watos played um Arca High um in the Caribbean Club Championship and they lost three goals to one. Same um same coach um Marcel Gill and it was disappointing. So I do believe that this here is the return and the revenge for Waterhouse. Waterhouse is playing some better football at this moment. One of the top teams in, well, they are the top team at the top of the table in the Jamaica Premier League. So there's a lot to expect from them. I don't know much about um, <clears throat> Arm Arca High. Um, as, as I said earlier with the previous, the preview that I did with Cavaliers, um, I don't know much about these teams, but most definitely I will just keep it concentrated on the teams that I know about, which are in the Jamaica Premier League, which is Watos and Cavaliers. I'm going to keep it in that direction. So if you're here um, looking um, to see what's happening and you don't know much about Watos and Cavaliers, you're here, you're at the right place to get the information that you want. So <clears throat> let me go into the stats. <laughs> As you know, I love the stats. All right, so... This season, Watos was at the top of the table. I well, played 17 games, scored 34 goals. 34 goals. And I do believe out of that 34 goals, um, about 24 of them have been contributed by three players. Three players contribute about 24 of those goals. Um, yeah, I would be 24 plus three players. Um, you will hear that later on. <clears throat> Um, so, Watos have only conceded, they have conceded the least amount of goals this season in 12 goals. Um, congrats to um, Malik um, Kakin and also Elvis Wilson. They have been phenomenal. Kimani Will, um, Campbell as well and Ricardo um, Thomas. So, the back four has been phenomenal and Akeem Chambers in goal. They have been phenomenal this season. Um, only conceding 12 in 17 appearance. So, that's actually less than, um, that's basically 0 0.7 goals per game they're conce they're conceding is it 0 0.7 yeah about that about in about in that region they're conceding so that is that's really good that is actually good it means that you have to really do something extra to to get a goal from them they are stingy and they tend to score a lot of goals 34 goals in 17 game that is go that is actually <clears throat> um point two um 2.0 goal, goals per game so they're not they're not conceding but they are scoring so that means that they are definitely a team a uh, team to to really really uh, put up a fight against so <clears throat> let's get to continue it. all right so um as you know as i mentioned coach marcel gale these are the, ch the top three players who are at this moment um the danger for um arca high um they will pr um, pr present the most danger for arca high um these are cardell bembo i'm gonna say top four Cardell Bembo, um, Cardell Bembo and nine goals and about two to three assists, I believe. So that's about um, 11 to 12 goal contribution. Um, Javi, um, Javi James, um, Javan James, and he's about he's on about two goals and about five assists. That's a basically seven goals contribution. And then are Tom, um, um, Thomas, who's in great form, who is on seven goals and about three um, um, assists. So that's about 10 goal contribution. That, so significantly, it is a lot. It is a lot, and Shaquille um, Bradford, who is in great, good, good, tremendous form at this moment. Now, 
So those are the players that we should look out for. So let's speak. Let's get into little details in regards to the team that we're go, going up against. Um, the last three games that they have played, they have won um, one of those, a lose one, and also drew one. They have scored five goals in those three games and only conceded three goals. So that is showing that they do have something, um, up, um, um, some form of quality from what you're seeing here. Just these three games, they have they, they, they lost the last game that they played. They have already played the first game in the Caribbean, um, the Concacaf Caribbean Club Championship, and they lost that game. That go that game two goals to one. Um, so that is a lot to look out for. I do think that this is going to be uh, a good matchup. We will see how this one goes. Owing to the fact that they have already defeated um, Waterhouse, it means that there's some form of grudge, um, grudge match going on in this game. This game will be aired 7 p.m. Jamaican time. Um, so hopefully you guys tune in to that one. What I'm going to do now, I am going to um, most definitely look at my um, predicted starting lineup. This is my predicted starting lineup, people. Yeah, my predicted starting lineup. Um, as you can see, I want to have a, a, a proper look at this starting lineup. Um, there is a cause for one player. I do believe that there's a cause for one, um, one player in particular, and uh, that is Devroy Gray. I do think that um, let me um, Shaquille um, Bradford will start. He's a young player, um, and most definitely. Bradford will I do think that he will start um so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm making that just that slight adjustment adjustment putting uh, putting in Shaquille um Bradford um, I do think that um, Bradford is having a, a good season so far um he's, he's finding a good um a goal scoring his goal scoring boot so we have Akeen Chambers in goal right back Ricardo Tom, um, Thomas Malik um Cockins um we have Wilson Elvis Wilson we have Kimani Campbell um and we have Ramon Oil, um, which is a captain, a very, very good and competent central, um, central, central defensive midfielder. Kitty Simpson, who is also playing some good football as well, very, very competent in the midfield. Um, I would say maybe a box to box type midfield. I think Ramon Oil is more of the one who sit back and clean up the mess and doing that, doing the, the, the shielding or the screening of the back four. Um, then are the Thomas now, who is one of the danger players, one of the best in the Premier League with close touches um, one of the best dribblers in the Premier League as well so um, there's a lot to say um, about Leonardo Thomas he scored some lovely goal last goal that he scored I yes I'm going to say it here I do think that that was not intended um, so if you're seeing this uh, you can you can go in the comment section you can use my different profile and say ha ha <laughs> I do think that I was not intended um, most definitely but anyways um, over on the left hand side Mr. Clean and Tidy Cardell Bembo um, one of the um tacticians of the game who actually one of those type of senior players who really really is well on and off the pitch and also when he's played you can definitely see that he has that level of experience um that he he brings to the team um up front javin um javan james who is i think one of the i think he's one of the worker like he's one of the pressing agent um for 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 um marcel gill and um bradford is actually a young promising player who is very has that potential to take another step um i do believe no <clears throat> oh <laughs> this is the problem now how marcel gill play is totally different from how cavaliers play i explained cavaliers um how cavaliers cavaliers play in that in that um preview and cavaliers is a team that does um a, holds a lot of possession um that's not how um Waterhouse play they do play a high pressing system their back four and um, press high their wing back push forward um let me show if just look at the screen i want you to look at the screen um i want you to look at the screen so you find you find out that ben Bow pushing forward um then now they're pushing forward. Then now they got the pre he got the, the, the license to kind of roam. He's basically like a number 10. Um, who has the free license to roam? Um, both him and Cardell Bembo. Um, Keith Simpson push a little bit in front of Ramon Howell. Ramon Howell will sit back a bit. Um, Campbell will push forward. Ricardo push forward. But, but what I do realize is that um they, they can push forward due to the fact that um they have two Teddy defenders and defenders such as Elvis Wilson, who will stay back, is quite quick. He's really, really quick and physical. He's a physical specimen and a very aggressive defender. Um, but most definitely, he's quick and he can do the recovery. Whilst Cockins would, Malik would actually sit back um, and and peel off and try to do the recovery. Um, <clears throat> 
the recovery of the ball and uh, uh, whilst Elvis do the first um, tackle. But most definitely, I do think that this Waterhouse team um, does have something to provide. I do think that they will um, um, add an extra. Uh, I do think that this will be a good game. I, I, I expect it to be a good game. As I said, it will be a grudge match. But most definitely, I, I don't think I need to go any further. I am saying Waterhouse maybe two and... Uh, I'm saying what was 2 0. I'm going for the Jamaican team. I am Jamaica, so I have to rep Jamaica. After the game, we can do a proper analysis of how um, the team play um, because I've only seen highlights, just highlights of the team. I have not seen the full game of the team as yet. Um, didn't have that much time on my hand. But most definitely, from the highlights I've seen, I do think there's a team that they, they do um, hold possession of the ball. Uh, we'll see how that one goes. But, anyways, until next time, MG Sports TV, we are out.